Sue. This one's pretty good. So this guy, Gensler, he's going to be leading the SEC. Uh, the last guy, what his name was, uh, he wasn't really big on cryptocurrency. But this gentleman here, I, I listened to a talk. He was talking at MIT, and he was talking just like, I mean, he could run this channel, uh, probably, probably more so. And uh, he was just saying exactly what, what cryptocurrency could be. He specifically talked about Ripple. We'll get to that in a second. And uh, this guy really knows the ins and outs of digital assets. But uh, Gensler previously chaired the CFTC, the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, and was a partner at Goldman Sachs Group. Goldman Sachs, let me just tell you one thing. The same thing we just talked about a little bit ago about people like, oh, I don't know, I don't understand what's going on. Well, guess what? So Goldman Sachs, they're going to enter the crypto market soon with custody. And this was a little piece that just came out yesterday. And it said, like JP Morgan, we have issued an RFI, a request for information, looking at digital custody. We are broadly exploring digital custody and deciding what the next step is, said the Goldman source, uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Technotic shift took place. Eh, whatever, that's boring. So the whole thing about this is, is JP, JP Morgan in the beginning all said the same thing. Don't like Bitcoin. You know, Jamie Dimon's like, I will fire any of my, my traders who even touch it. Well, then all of a sudden they get into it. And then here we go with Goldman Sachs. Not only that, Goldman Sachs, not just recently in May 27th, they had a little uh, investor powwow where they brought everybody in and just showed them slides about investment opportunities. And uh, out of that, they just said that, oh, no, no, cryptocurrency and Bitcoin, it's not even, a, uh, it's not even an asset class. Uh, this was an investor call Wednesday. This was back in May. Discuss current policies of Bitcoin and inflation in the context of the COVID-19 crisis. The big takeaway, investment bank is still not a fan of Bitcoin or the cryptocurrencies. Uh, in the call materials, Goldman notes that while cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin have received enormous attention, they are not an asset class. So it's, I don't mind people changing their mind. I don't mind you. That's funny. I don't care if people change their mind, right? That's great. You have more information and you change your mind. But to me, it just seems very odd timing that all of a sudden everything's going up I'm like, oh, you know what? This does look pretty good. You're telling me Goldman Sachs, a multi-billion dollar company, didn't have the ability and the foresight to put a team of people together and go, you know what? Take a look at this and tell us that this is something to invest into. And after 10 years, it is the best performing asset class over a decade. They're like, you know, we're going to pass. Yeah, right. Anyhow. So, Gensler. He's, an, he's advocated for a nationwide way to register and monitor cryptocurrency exchanges instead of leaving oversight to the states. Interesting, because every state, they have to approve you for whatever you were doing for cryptocurrency. New York is one of those things. Uh, you have to have a specific bit license, and that's why, like, if everybody's looking for Voyager, one of my top picks for 2021, the VGX token, you can't get it in New York because New York sucks, and uh, that's just how it is. They don't suck. They're just doing their due diligence. Don't sue me. So it is good to have an ex-banker in there who is smart enough to recognize the value of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies to building wealth and value in society, said Tim Draper. He will understand the importance of allowing innovation while watching over banks who might try to restrain trade by blocking the use of superior currency. Gensler has also advocated for greater regulation of cryptocurrency exchanges. Real quick. I would love to have this happen, actually, for regulation for cryptocurrency exchanges, because some of them go down at the most inopportune times, Coinbase, and I don't understand why they do these things, Coinbase, because they shouldn't, this shouldn't be allowed. If you have more lawyers than you have engineers, there's a problem there. So I think really what it comes down to is if they want to regulate some exchanges and say, what are you guys doing? Why is this down all the time? Are you holding out for your institutional investors? Because we know you're helping out MicroStrategy. We know you're helping out these other big uh, institutions. So are you holding back some things? Don't sue me. Uh, I just think that's what's going on. And it's just my uh, personal opinion. I have no proof of that. If it gets broad adoption, if we really think the crypto world is going to be part of the future, it needs to come inside of public policy envelope, says Gensler. This means we need to guard against illicit activity. And yes, we need to protect investors. The crypto exchanges, big exchanges like Coinbase, need to come within the SEC or the CFTC. And lastly, uh, Nick Carter, co-founder of uh, Coinmetrics, says this guy knows what he's talking about. <laughs> Essentially, that's what it is. And uh, he does. Like I said, there was, a, there was an MIT piece where he was just laying it all out. You know, this is what cryptocurrency is. These were digital assets. And he uh, specifically talked about Ripple. And people, especially the XRP army, were really ecstatic when this video came out. Like, ah, see, this guy's going to drop. This guy's going to drop it. Not so fast. So, 
This is Jake Chervinsky. If you don't follow him on Twitter, uh, give him a follow at Jay Chervinsky. He is the, uh, I think the, the chief, chief counsel for uh, Compound, uh, the uh, cryptocurrency, Compound Financial. And he states this, Gary Gensler deeply understands crypto and has strongly supported Bitcoin for years. This election as SEC chair signals a policy shift in favor of Bitcoin ETF. That's big. Maybe Kevin O'Leary can, can stop, you know, spewing his nonsense about Bitcoin as an ETF before I get into it. Sure. He also went on record in 2018 saying there's a strong case that XRP is a security, signaling no shift on that issue. So if you're excited about Gensler coming in, just remember he called XRP a security. He was big proponent of Ripple, but Ripple is the company uh, and the, the software company and XRP is the cryptocurrency. So let me understand in the comments section. Let's move on to our last piece.